Today I'm going to do a review of the Graviton Lance after the Warmind DLC is released for Destiny 2 and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So a little bit of quick news before we actually get into the video. I will be changing all of my videos back to 1080p 60fps except for any video that is PvP related. This means that all of my reviews like this video will stay in 4K. So let's get into the video. When Destiny 2 was released, the Graviton Lance was a very unique weapon. It was a 3 round burst exotic pulse rifle with void energy. There was no weapon like it, ever. The Graviton Lance was one of the few weapons that shook things up in Destiny 2 but in a good way. Prior to the Warmind expansion, the Graviton Lance seen a decent amount of play, but not really too much. It was more so a PvE weapon over a PvP one. Now, I'm not saying it was a bad pulse rifle in PvP, but there were better options out there to use. After the Warmind expansion and the release of Season 3, a lot has changed for the Graviton Lance and definitely in a great way. Now let's go over the stats, and all of the stats will be coming straight from DestinyTracker.com. And given that the Warmind DLC was released two days ago, I'm going to assume that these stats are updated given that the new weapons for the Warmind DLC have been added to their roster. The Graviton Lance has an RPM of 257, an impact of 29, a range of 55, and the stability is maxed out at 100, a magazine of 31, a reload speed of 61, and a handling of 59. As for its hidden stats, it has a power of 330, a zoom of 17, an inventory and aim assist of 60, and a recoil direction of 65. As for the perks of this weapon, we have the intrinsic perk called Black Hole, which the second shot of a burst rips a hole through space time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall off. Then we have Hammer Forge Rifling, Accurized Rounds, Cosmology, which Kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track targets. And last but not least, we have fitted stock. And like all exotic, wonderful weapons come with a plus five weapon attack mod. And one of the actual ornaments for this weapon is called Particle Accelerator. And this is actually what it looks like. So I had a little time to mess around with the Graviton Lance after the Warmind expansion was released. And at first, I really, really didn't like it at all. I guess it was because I wasn't used to the change in the burst. For those who don't know, since the Warmind release, the Graviton Lance went from a 3 round burst weapon to a 2 round burst. Also, the first round in each burst is weaker than the second round. When using this weapon, I started off in PvE, and then after about 15 minutes with the Graviton Lance, I ended up putting it up because it felt really weird, almost like a scout rifle instead of a pulse rifle. Let me know in the comment section if you guys got that feeling too. Then I tried out the Skyburner's Oath and just to see if I liked the weapon changes for that exotic, but then after talking to a few guys that I was playing with, I decided to give the Graviton Lance another chance, and I will say that I am very glad that I did. I started treating the Graviton Lance like it was a scout rifle, and yes, I do love my Mita, but seeing it in a different light, no pun intended. And I actually changed the way that I played with it, no homo. Instead. I was actually using the weapon the way it was intended to be used. In PvE, I was constantly looking for headshots all the time in order to get the effect of cosmology off. In order to get a kill in PvE, it takes one burst to the head to kill small enemies like thralls, but two bursts to kill enemies like legionaries. And that is both without a shield, of course. In PvP, given that this weapon has max stability, it goes crazy. But the range of the Graviton Lance is, oh my Jesus, ridiculous. I mean, it really felt like scout rifle type range and getting killed with this weapon was insanely easy. It takes three two round bursts, which is six rounds to kill an enemy with full health and shield if you are getting your headshots. And yes, it is possible to get a two burst kill with the Vigilance Wing, but all of your shots in that two round burst have to land and if they don't then you're pretty much done for. On top of that you can fire all three bursts in the Graviton Lance for the same amount of time that it takes the Vigilance Wing to fire two bursts. 
And if you move around when you shoot like I do, then going against the Vigilance Wing with the Graviton Lance is a cakewalk because you can easily outgun the Vigilance Wing. Now when I started the script for the Graviton Lance, according to Destiny Tracker, it was ranked number 29 in PvP, and now, as of this video, it's ranked number 27. By the time this video comes out, its rank may even be closer to 20. That alone tells you that this weapon is getting more and more use in PvP. Now, I would say that if you are going to use the Graviton Lance, then combine it with a powerful close range weapon like a hand cannon or an SMG. Now, I'm not trying to brag, but I like using my DFA with the Graviton Lance, but I'm still trying to find a good power weapon to complement the weapon loadout though. I don't know. I may just stick with the shotgun given that I main a Voidwalker Warlock with Blink. Also, there is really no need to use an auto rifle or a scout rifle when you have the Graviton Lance equipped because it already does great damage to enemies at a distance. Just make sure you are hitting those headshots and you don't miss. So what do you guys think of the Graviton Lance? Did you like it prior to the update? And if so, do you like the changes now after the Warmind DLC? Or are you just picking it up for the first time? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.